Hello guys, welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. Tips and tricks, let's call it that. The three days uh, early access for the deluxe edition is over and yeah. Here and there I had some issues uh, figuring out stuff. So I thought um, let's make a video on that. Seen the game is released also for those who have the normal game a couple of hours ago. So we have more players in the end probably some of them will have the same issues as I had. Um, first things first, I play on PC and I play with a keyboard. Now uh, that is kind of important in that way uh, if you play with a controller or something like that uh, or you play on a console you probably will have not have uh, some of the issues that you might have. Um, where are, are we on the map? Um, yeah, As you can see that's already a problem. The map itself it's a bunch of icons on it and you cannot uh, you can switch a bit between you can only uh, show the events the activities which are sort of like skill tests speed runs um, drift zones speed traps uh, things like that you have locations that is probably your best shot uh, at seeing the most part of the map scene that only shows um, gas stations tuner shops um, anything else yeah the garages of course and so on and then you have collectibles which is um, the car wrecks you find and also billboards and uh, some other stuff as well there's for instance I still don't know what the idea behind that is but there is like um, some spaceship in the middle of the desert somewhere no idea is that a, a collectible or not and then you have the derelicts as you can see I have all five of them uh, not all the videos are posted yet uh, where to find those things I have posted um, the fair lady, where to find those things, uh, which you can get uh, after the off-road league win, I believe. After the race league, you get a chance to win the Mustang, um, and then it was drift league, um, I think it was the, C uh, the C10. The drag league gives you the uh, Beetle, and then finally the runner league gives you the Chevrolet Bel Air. But those videos are still coming, um, but this one is something in between, because, as I said, there were some issues here and there. So um, let's put the locations on. <coughs> yeah, or you already see the problem here. There is a garage here, but there is also um, double or nothing, which is one of the um, intermediate missions. Let's call it that. And behind that is uh, the garage, so you can uh, yeah. So you actually have to zoom in to get to the garage icon. That's already a problem. Too many icons on this thing half the time. Uh, also, if you look for the derelicts. It's going to be a problem because sometimes it covers an important part of the clue on your map and then yeah then you're looking for ages so that that's the reason why some of my videos took like 45 minutes or so to actually find those five things to the garage you can fast travel um, for free to other spots it's going to cost you 180 or 450 bucks that's how it is in this game so this is the airfield, this is sort of, if you go through the story, this is uh, your first garage that you get. Now, but that's not the only garage on the map, and that's where problem number one came into place. Again, put in the locations. There is a garage here in the west, and it is available for um, 22,000, if I'm not mistaken. There is also a garage in uh, Fortune Value, the city itself, 27,000 that one costed and over here on the east you also have a garage and that one cost uh, 33,000. If you start playing you have 15 slots in your garage here on the airfield. Five of the cars uh, you store the are on display and then 10 are more or less in a hidden warehouse. That was already problem number one. I was looking on the map to find the warehouse, but it's actually inside your garage. Now, um, if you drive to one of those other garages, if you're on PC, that's why it's a bit different than on console probably. Some people had no issue buying another garage. People on PC have a problem buying garage because the thing is mapped wrongly. You drive up there, it gives you the option, do you want to buy a garage? And then um, it shows the selection key which in my case uh, the selection key is mapped on the letter R and you press that thing and nothing happens and you thought okay 
At first I thought, well, maybe uh, my first garage has to be full before I can actually buy a second one. So I bought some cheap cars, filled up the garage with 15 slots. Nothing changed. I still couldn't buy the garage. Then I thought maybe I have to progress to the story. So I progressed further down the story and it was still not available. Then I did some reading here and there and apparently the selection key uh, is the issue. Because you're not supposed to press the er uh, selection key but you have to press the letter E. By default it's E, uh, which is to in my case that's linked to my Nitro but that doesn't matter so much. Also in the menu here you can uh, scroll with A and E if you're on um, through the filters. And uh, so it's letter E. If you press on the letter E you can actually buy a garage. That seemed to work. Uh, I've read it on the uh, EAL help forums or something. And uh, by the looks of it, it seems to work for everybody. So by default, it's the letter E and not the uh, selection that it gives you. That's already uh, the first thing. Now, um, can I get to that garage icon? Yeah, there I go. You can fast travel from garage to garage for free. That's not an issue. So if you go inside the garage, uh, there are a few things that you can do there. These are sort of uh, my five cars. Uh, this one is my runner, comes with level 270, which also brings us to problem number two. This is my race car, level 299. The same goes for the off-road car, and also uh, for the drift car, 242, that's not that important. But no matter how much I played around with parts in the tuners, uh, which we will come to in a second, I couldn't get this car higher than 299 and the same for my race car. Could not get it higher than uh, 299. But this one is my drag car and then I have a 374 which is almost at the maximum uh, because the maximum level seems to be 399. So um, how did I do that? Well it's pretty simple um, if I click on this car I can go to my warehouse where I have uh, nine more cars available as you can see. Let's have a look. Now, here's the Hurricane. The Hurricane uh, is available. I bought this one in the race. It's stuck. I just bought it yesterday uh, to get this thing going. It comes with a level of 301. And level 300 seems to be important in this game. Uh, that also unlocks for customization the super builds. And uh, apparently also higher parts. So uh, I thought, okay, then maybe it's that way and it seemed to work. So what I did is I bought this thing, which uh, you can also buy another car, but it has to be over level 300. If you buy a car le over level 300, then you can also win higher parts for uh, other cars. And that is why uh, this car over here, my drag car, is now at 374, because suddenly I could go over 299. So uh, that sort of explains that little bit. So that's more or less the garage, yeah, other than that, uh, you can select this car. You can exit the garage, you can sell it, or you can go into a warehouse. That's where uh, the rest of your cars are, those that you cannot see. If you select the car, then you get a bunch of options, if you click on it again. You have vanity items. Vanity items are, um, yeah, as you can see here, your nitro smoke, uh, the tire smoke. You have different colors, those things you win getting from missions or you get them uh, if you had the deluxe edition. For instance, we got the platinum blue nitrous. Uh, I don't think you can buy that one. It might be in the premium packs, shipment packs. Possibly that it's in there because that's where uh, these things come from. You win shipments pack and you can open those shipments packs and that's where those things are. Uh, the different sounds of your horn and uh, some air suspension and things like that. Then of course you have uh, paint and wrap. The paint is pretty simple, uh, change the color of your car and then uh, the wrap is you can mess about with uh, sticker and vinyl editors and uh, make it completely as you want it. Stands the tuning, uh, that's a bit different for uh, each pack. In case of this, this is my drag car so you can change the camber front rear and you can change the height of the car, more or less. Visual customization, that is where you can change the hoods and the bumpers and all that. Although, uh, if you're new to the game, if you're only playing for a few hours with the normal edition, for instance, uh, most of those things will be locked. You have to do stuff, you have to do um, a two-star jump, a three-star speed trap or whatever to unlock uh, the grill or to unlock uh, this. 
But that was uh, the main problem for me was that uh, I was driving around with cars like for instance a derelict with rusty rear fenders because you had to buy a second garage which com brings us back to the first problem uh, in the beginning of the video you had to buy a second garage to actually unlock the customization of the rear fenders and uh, which I haven't mentioned yet uh, once you bought all the garages I have all four of them now uh, your warehouse is no limiter no longer limited to 15 slots in total uh, it's unlimited now so you can have all the cars you want so you do not have to sell your cars at any point as I thought uh, one of the earliest videos I, I thought that might be the possibility that you had to sell cars after buying f four garages but that's not the case uh, performance customization that is sort of uh, where you can see the equipped speed parts the speed parts are like more or less the parts on your car you have a head, a block, a ECU, turbo, exhaust and gearbox and that's for uh, the same for all of the cars so you sort of have play around you need six speed cards on your car to uh, up the level a bit and as you can see those are now um, level 16 17 16 18 even and I'm assuming that uh, every part at level level 18 or maybe 20 will bring the car at 399 and then it's fully upgraded now um, the number obviously is the level of the car then you have the red, blue, orange, those are like brands. Red is uh, Americana, this one is uh, Nextech I think. This one is Outlaw. And then you have uh, two others. Uh, what's the other one? Um, there's also a green one. So it's like red, blue, orange, green and pink. And uh, if you combine those cards, which I haven't done here, then uh, you can get brand bonuses. Um, then you have the perks on itself for instance this first card here only has a speed perk this one also has a speed perk I have like four cards with a speed perk and that is what you can see on the left here um, you see horsepower and top speed on the left of there you see four yellow things uh, surrounding that symbol and that means that I have four speed bonus perks on it you can have a speed bonus uh, on all of the cards and then it will actually be uh, filling up the circle next to horsepower and top speed we also have one nitro bonus here on this card and that is uh, the NOS capacity and power we actually have two and indeed here we have another perk of nitro and we have one on acceleration and that's that one but you can also have uh, what is my here it is I will take this one we'll have a look at this one uh, because here I have like stuck at level 12 sort of this car and uh, that's a bit of a problem so this one is at 299 but as you can see this is a bit of a different story I have three blue parts which gives me the next tech bonus brand bonus um, they are all level 12 maximum level of the car two. Uh, 299 if you have put it on level 12 but all of them have three perk bonuses which makes it uh, yeah sort of more interesting as you can see uh, on the left next to horsepower we ha uh, we have three yellow things there so that means we have three speed bonuses somewhere on these cards which are on the three bottom one we have speed perk bonuses I have five acceleration five nitro or four and five um, la uh, jump and break we only have two yeah who needs brakes it's a racing game um, now I'm thinking is there anything I I had one we well can also uh, combine but I don't know which one it is is it this one I'm gonna have a look there was one where I had like uh, a double bonus for the brand unless I change that me well yeah probably change it this one does not have a uh, brand bonus because I have two green cards two blue cards a red and a pink one so that's not really but also this one was locked to 299 because it co I couldn't get it any higher but uh, that is possible now though uh, which brings us to the following thing and that is the tuning itself you cannot uh, if you win parts out there 
you do events, you win parts, you can send them to your garage. And then if you go into the, um, like we just did, if you go into the performance customization, you, you see those 12 cards, but next to it, on the right there, you see a list of, of cards uh, for the block and for the head as well. So if, for instance, if I um, have equipped this P part, if I click on that, then it actually lights up the list on the right there. You can, and you can scroll there. Those are sort of like spare parts that you have, but uh, as you can see, all of them are worse than what I have on at the moment. But uh, what you're going to do with it, you can keep them for future uh, race builds in this case. Or you can sell them, or you can trade them in for... Uh, I will trade this one in because it's not that good anyway. Trading in a speed card will reward you a token. And those are like uh, the brown things on the left uh, next to your money. And those tokens are kind of important because you can sort of spin a wheel in the tuners with those tokens. I'm going to sell another one, uh, level 11, why not, just sell it. And that gives me uh, 6 token cards. I'm going to leave the garage here for a second. Open the map, um, also to the tuners, which is like the uh, that symbol there. You can fast travel, but that's going to cost you 450 bucks to fast travel there. That's how it is. From garage to garage, it's free. But if you go uh, to a tuner shop, it's costing you 450, and then you can also fast travel to gas station. I think that's 180 bucks or something. But to all these events or something, or uh, just a random place on the map, you cannot fast travel. You always have to pick up one of these uh, pink symbols. Let's call it that: tuners, garage, or uh, gas station. Now let's go in there. This is a tune-up shop. Here you can get some parts. Um, as you can see here, it's a level 12, a level 11. Those are things that you can buy. These are, um, yeah, not that good parts. But it might be interesting if you're, uh, if you have a low-level car, you're new to the game, you can show up here. And usually there's one or two cards that are kind of uh, helping you a little bit. Not much, but might w win you uh, five points or three points on your uh, car level. But not so much. Then uh, if you put the filter on equip, there we go. That's sort of uh, what we already saw in the garage. That is the equipped speed cards that you have on. So those are like those three things and so on. So you can see, uh, oh, I have one bad card. Then you can play around with the tokens and that you do on the next filter tab and that is the trade-ins. Now, uh, I only have six of these tokens left, but once you play through the story, uh, at a certain point I had 120, I think. But I used a lot of these pin things uh, to get, for instance, this golf upgraded, so that I could beat uh, Miss Supernova there, as I showed in the previous video. So, if you spin, for instance, this wheel, it's going to cost you three tokens, and you just have to, uh, you first have to select whatever it is you need, the card that you need. If you say, okay, I need heads, then you just spin the wheel, and it's randomly some sort of wheel of fortune. It's randomly going to give you a brand and a bonus. That can be a uh, one perk bonus or a triple one. In this case, it's a level 11 triple bonus, which will actually downgrade my card. But seeing it has a triple bonus, that might come into play. Uh, it is a card with three perk bonuses, so it's a pretty good card. But it's a level 11, which is not that good. So uh, I'm gonna. You can either sell them that card that you just won, you can trade it in, for uh, that will give you one extra token. You just spend three to win with card, which you can get one token back for. So I'm just gonna send it to the garage. And let's spin again. See if we can get anything better. Which is not the case, as you can see. It's a level 12 with a jump bonus, but we have, um, from the same brand, from Next Tech, we have a level 12 with a triple bonus on it. Gym, jump, Nitro and Acceleration, so again, this is not good. This one uh, I'm gonna send to the garage as well, and I will figure out the garages. You can start playing um, 
spinning around the wheel that's what I did with the drag car and then I uh, actually got some level 13 14 15 and up uh, eventually level 16 parts so that's one way of getting your parts but this is uh, it's a bit of a wheel of fortune as you can see you're not always uh, gonna win parts that's gonna actually upgrade your car some of them might even downgrade which means you get bad cars of it another way of um, tuning your car up is finish first in an event now um, if you put a filter on events these are like all the events uh, that I've meanwhile played story events and uh, with videos that are already posted videos that are still coming you sort of go uh, I'm still working on it uh, I have done uh, the race there's like two leaks I believe that I went through um, the same for off-road drag and drift and I will still have this thing here sort of flashing about and that is the runner that is kind of um, the second leak for the runner which I still have to do that's why this is flashing about I've done the drag uh, second leak yesterday and so on so uh, you can always go to these events but bear in mind that um, also the AI or your opponents um, level up in that way if you show up there with a car of uh, like my drag car 347 or whatever it is then you're gonna come up against someone with a car of 355 which means you're always in a fight more or less it's not like uh, gonna be easy wins you need to show up there with a car which is kinda leveled especially for the um, like these missions that's a league that's probably gonna be five or six missions again yeah the chances are uh, like here uh, it says runner recommended level is 310 if you show up there with a 250 car you might have some issues I found out uh, I did manage to beat uh, Miss Supernova with her 380 uh, Pagani Huayra and uh, in my 299 um, Golf but the Golf has like level 12 all over with triple perk bonuses so I have good bonuses on it which probably it's one of the reasons I could keep up with her and eventually uh, beat her with a few hundred meters ahead but um, I think it's best to get uh, your hands on some better parts so by redoing some of these events you will get actually uh, better parts now um, anything else that's what sort of what it's a quick look on the garage or an explanation how to get a garage because not that easy on PC seeing the thing does not like here it says enter the tune-up shop and it gives the letter R as my selection key and it was the same in the garage but that does not work you have to use the E to buy garages and uh, as I said if you buy those four garages like for instance it's the same uh, you no matter it is a bit of where you are I guess because uh, in every of the gar it's not like you have 10 cars there and 15 cars there it's the same garage all over the place I have 14 cars now I sold a few that I bought uh, to fill them up first but and uh, as you can see the slots is like the uh, unlimited symbol but I can also I can fast travel to the east garage and as you will see it's exactly the same as the one on the airfield if I enter that you go in and there you are back in the garage with uh, my five cars that I sort of started with that those are also the ones uh, that I have the uh, blue platinum um, under glow under or the neon underneath 350Z is my drift the Audi S5 is the runner because that's sort of yeah that's the, the runner you have to start with uh, Jess brings that car one of your crew and uh, she brings that car and that's the only runner you have uh, so yeah either you have to go to the runner dealership and uh, buy something else or you have to deal with this car so I've done the thing with this car so meanwhile this one is leveled up a little bit because if you buy them in the dealers they come with uh, yeah especially the lower ones they come with a uh, hundred hundred and five level or something like that and then you have to go through all the events again or go to the tuners play around with that wheel of fortune to get some better parts for it so it's best uh, to use it especially in the beginning uh, the car that you sort of went through the story with that's probably the car that uh, works around this one uh, needs to go though because especially in the second leak of the off-road the first leak was kind of okay you could win from those guys but the second leak is pretty hard and uh, in this off-road thing and I had few of missions that I had to redo 
just to be able to beat those AI uh, opponents because this car I don't know I need something else I probably should have taken the Raptor that came with the, with the deluxe edition in the platinum pack and uh, built that one up but yeah this one is 299 I've also up upgraded this one while doing the story so I stuck around with this one but uh, no a bit underpowered uh, compared to your opponent there the drag is uh, finally okay. It's at 374 now, which is more or less at the maximum. 399 is the maximum. And I could beat uh, Vasilev or whatever his name was um, in the second series of uh, drag leak missions, so should be okay. The Golf is kind of okay. It's a bit, yeah. It is front wheel drive, of course, and uh, sometimes, even in these race missions, you occasionally go off road or so bit of a problem but all in all it's okay now that's sort of uh, yeah the problems that I uh, encountered in uh, the last three days was first of all could not buy a garage which was a bit of a problem and um, mainly the, the issues with the tuner shop um, it's a bit complicated if you show up there the first time you're not familiar with um, all that or you haven't read up on it or something yeah then it's a bit complicated how it all works but the thing is the higher level card you have the better and uh, preferably with a three perk bonuses on it that seems to be uh, the way to do it if you only have one bonus on each card yeah then you only have six bonuses now I have three bonuses on each of the card for this call for instance and then uh, yeah then you have 18 bonuses available that will make the card uh, already a little bit faster or give you longer um, NOS power or a bit more braking or a bit more top speed things like that that's where the bonuses come into play that will be it for uh, this video I think a quick look around in the garage how to buy new garages if you're on PC and uh, also more or less figured out uh, in my own way uh, this tuning shop thing and that's sort of what I make of it the brand itself yeah you can click on help here and uh, as you you will get the explanation that it's 18 is the the number that is your rating I think 18 will be the maximum so if you have 6 18 cards um, on your card it probably will be 399 then you have the perk those are like the perk bonuses which are kind of importantly and then you have the different brands I am assuming that also the brands are more or less l related to um, one of those five different things uh, meaning speed acceleration nitro jump and uh, brake I'm thinking that next X for instance uh, the blue cards seems to be that they are uh, giving you more acceleration some part and then you have this thing here yeah this is something that I still haven't figured out it says brand bonuses but that means that you have to have Americano Americana with Nitro and Air for Outlaw which are the orange cards it has to be Speed and Nitro for uh, Shidori uh, that those are the green cards I think Acceleration and Brakes next X are the blue cards Speed and Brakes and uh, Carbon those will be uh, I'm guessing the pink cards then that's the only one left or carbon is the green and Shidori is the pink that's how it is I think acceleration and air but do you have to combine those specific perks with that brand to get like a super bonus or something this is still something that I haven't figured out but nevertheless um, I have three bonuses on each of my cars this car is 299 but eventually you need to get it at 399 also in your customization you can sort of make a super build but you need to have level 300 so I can build a, I can make a super build of that drag car, but um, not of the uh, of the other ones. I think, but don't think. Let's see if it's possible. Um, probably has to be visual customization. Okay, there's no super build available even. No, I don't want to leave the garage. I want to go to my drag car and see if there is a super build available for that one. This car is 347. Super build should be available, and I thought it was in 
replied by Rue. Super builds. Ah, there we go. Let's have a look. This is like, uh, there's one available for 9,000 bucks. That's not really a problem. I have a million bucks. But do we actually want it? Yeah, well, I will buy it. You can buy uh, the super build. And then you can still play around um, with bumpers and all that. Super build is sort of like, yeah, it puts it on higher feet. And that makes it um, a bit more interesting, I guess. For uh, off-roaders, maybe. And for drags as well. Probably for drift and race, you don't really get a super build uh, option. I haven't checked that out yet. But that's sort of what the super build does. It's sort of, and then you can still play around with uh, with the rims, like the r the front rim, for instance. Seems to be a bit small now with that tire. But see if I can find something bigger. That's all. The, so uh, this super build, you can only uh, build it up if you um, are level 300 or if your car is level 300 that's also a possibility the garage the tuner shop that was in this video so the, the well the most common problems that I came across in the last three days first couldn't buy a garage and then the tuner shop beginning was all a bit complicated uh, I hope it is a bit more clear now see you guys in the next one and bye for now